Good morning and welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room. This team is watching over systems on board the space station and following along with the activities of the Expedition 30 crew. This is the ISS update for Tuesday, January 17th. The crew on board the space station includes Commander Dan Burbank, astronaut overseeing the operations. He is joined by flight engineers, cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin and Oleg Koninenko, and NASA astronaut Don Pettit and European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers. This week, the crew members are focusing on research on board the space station. Here we see video that was recorded earlier today on board the complex with Pettit, and he was uh, working on the SPHERES Zero Robotics activity, doing a dry run of use of those uh, satellites. SPHERE stands for the Synchronized Position Hold, Engage, Reorient, Experimental Satellites, and the Zero Robotics aspect is an educational activity. It establishes an opportunity for high school students to design research for the space station. As part of the competition, students write algorithms for the SPHERE satellites to accomplish various tasks that are relevant to future space missions. The algorithms are tested by the SPHERES team, and the best designs are selected for the competition to operate the SPHERES satellites on board the station. Pettit was doing a dry run of that uh, activity today, and the main event, or the finals, are scheduled for next Monday, January 23rd. Other work uh, Pettit is doing today involves the microgravity science glove box. A lot of work uh, scheduled with that facility uh, this week to uh, get it ready for science activities. That is a, one of the major science facilities on board the, space, sta the uh, space station inside the Destiny Laboratory. It provides a uh, glove box uh, particularly suited for handling hazardous materials when the crew is working with them. The crew was busy at work on Monday, even though it was a government holiday. Uh, it was not one observed on board the space station, so other science experiments were ongoing. Pettit uh, continued work with experiments operating the capillary flow experiment called the vein gap. The uh, capillary flow experiments are a suite of fluid physics place. experiments that investigated investigate capillary flows and flows of fluids in containers with complex geometries. Results uh, from those experiments will improve current computer models that are used by designers of low gravity fluid systems and may improve fluid transfer systems on future spacecraft. Without gravity, it is uh, more difficult to control the flow of fluids, and this is a challenge for design, designing spacecraft systems such as liquid propellants, uh, thermal control systems, wastewater management, and recycling. European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuiper has also worked with an experiment on uh, Monday, actually putting away the equipment for one that was being used earlier called the SODI experiment, the Selectable Optical Diagnostics Instrument, which is an aggregation of colloidal suspensions that will study the aggregation or mass phenomena of colloids in the microgravity environment. One of the most promising applications of colloidal engineering is the fabrication, fabrication of photonic devices or technologies involving light, such as those used in telecommunications, robotics, and medicine applications. Other experiments have been operated by the cosmonauts on board, including a BAR experiment that uh, Shklapolarov uh, worked on that is helping develop methods and instruments to help detect the location of a loss of pressure on board the station. And uh, he also worked on an experiment with Evanetian that is called Typologia, which is a behavioral assessment that the cosmonauts are undergoing. The uh, ground team has been working on a tightly choreographed activity with the crew also. Uh, starting on Monday, the team here in Mission Control started pushing a uh, software update to the space station's computers, all of the major computers that control the station systems and research on board. The uh, transitions of several computers, uh, including those that operate the systems and some of the laptop computers on board, the ones that the crew members use to interface with the station systems. That started on Sunday, and then astronaut Dan Burbank helped with that on Monday with those laptop computers, installing new hard drives and plugging those back in after some transitions were done with the uh, uh, major computers.
and that work continues today and uh, continues to go well as the team upgrades the software for uh, enhancing the space station's operations and incorporating changes for future activities, including the visiting commercial vehicles, with uh, the first of those planned to be from SpaceX, the Dragon vehicle uh, to demonstrate a rendezvous uh, capability with the space station for cargo delivery. That uh, first uh, demonstration flight was targeted for a launch on February 7th, but SpaceX has informed NASA that it will need to delay that launch to ensure that, ensure that the vehicle is ready to safely and successfully execute the planned mission.